Hey guys, um, so today we're going to talk about um, some of the basics of um, electronics and electrical engineering. So it's not about electronics, it's about electrical engineering. So here, um, you know, everyone already knows about the two of the main things like the AC drives and DC drives. Do you know what is AC and DC? So today I'm going to talk about this. Um, you're going to have a very good idea about like what are these things, okay? So AC means alternating current and DC means direct current. So what do you understand by this? AC alternating right it's in the name so when someone talks about alternating current it means the current is changing direction like over time so if you ever seen a circuit like it would be from plus to minus right it would be from plus to minus plus to minus so it would be like a sine wave if you have never seen a one before so this is where I'm talking about it here and showing it here so these AC drives operate with AC signal or voltage, obviously there should be it. And um, there are multiple kinds like one phase, three phase AC voltage drives, whereas DC drives are just plain, okay, with DC signal or voltage. Now, um, generally a DC drive changes an alternating current into DC current using a converter rectifier circuit, okay. So when we use a circuit that converts um, like... Um, AC to DC that means you're rectifying the AC to DC we call it a rectifier but whenever you convert the DC to AC what we call it an inverter okay inverter so AC drive does the opposite okay so here is a picture we can see a sine wave and here is a variable frequency controller that is going through it and then you can get the frequency out and then you can use some power electronic circuits using this AC motor over here and then you get the mechanical power okay so this is quite cool and um, these motor drives are like everywhere and you know what is a motor drive a motor drive is is a system of motors where you know like um, you have to utilize them basically you have to use this thing okay so a drive is basically a system consisted of that thing so that's why we call it drive AC drives motor drives like built on those systems okay now um, there are some um, examples where we use the AC drives and DC drives here so usually in supply we use run by AC supply and um, sometimes like using the DC supply so DC supplies are the batteries or you know just direct current from like uh, dry cells and those things but AC drives that we get in our homes like you know the electrical appliances so they use the DC but in the main grid like we get it on AC so what happens is you, ha you see all those you know those tiny like blocks that converts your AC to DC it's like an inverter okay and then um, there's a lot of applications over here um, size in terms of power ratio speed control um, AC is usually for like long distance ones so yeah it's very important motor speed can reach up to 10,000 rpm whereas in DC is only 2500 rpm okay it's not very efficient to the DC and then circuit is really really complex and the AC drives because you know we have to think about like transmitting electricity so um, this article was written by um, Mr. Faizan or something I forgot his name Faizan his electrical engineer he posted this article on electrical academy all about electrical technology so this video was about a comparison between AC drives and DC drives more would come in future thank you for listening guys thank you